Hi there everyone and welcome to Tech Cravers. So Nintendo released another stability update for the 3DS and it's currently on firmware 11.16.0-49, followed by the letter of your region. In my case it's E for Europe. I've got a lot of questions if it's safe to update to this latest firmware and the answer is yes. At least if you follow the guide I recently uploaded on how to hack your Nintendo 3DS. That means if you're on the latest version of Luma 3DS you're safe to just update your 3DS using the regular method from the system settings. You won't lose any files and your 3DS will still be on custom firmware. Now I'm gonna show you how to check whether you have the latest version of Luma 3DS so let's jump into it. Now, first of all, how do you know that your 3DS has a new firmware update? Most of you are probably gonna notice it while trying to update your games or trying to play against friends online. You will get this error message. So the first thing we need to do is to check whether we have the latest version of Luma 3DS. So power off your 3DS, then press and hold select while pressing the power button. As you can see on the upper screen, this console has the latest Luma 3DS, which is version 11.0 as of the day I made this video. So if you're on the same version as me, head back into the console and update it straight through the settings. If you for some reason are on a lower version of Luma 3DS, then install the latest version using my How to Hack Your 3DS in 2022 guide among my other videos. Now reboot your system by either clicking on the power button or on the start button. Once back, open the system settings. As you can see, I'm on 11.16.0-48. Click on other settings, then click the right button until you see the system update button. Click it and follow the on-screen instructions. Once complete, tap on OK to restart your system. And as you can see in the system settings, we're now on 11.16.0-49. Let's try to update your game and start it up. But first of all, let's just check if the homebrew channel works. And as you can see, it works without any problems. And the game that we tried to update before can now be updated and we won't get any error messages this time. And that's been it for this brief video on how to update your 3DS to the latest firmware from Nintendo and keep being on custom firmware and keep all your files intact. I hope you liked it and if you did please let me know by giving it a like or a comment down below and if you haven't already you could also consider subscribing and hit the bell so you don't miss upcoming content like this. Catch you in the next one, thanks for watching.